and out come Bonnie and Rose, accompanied by the young mascots today. This is going to be a tight one. Bonnie Ridge Rose currently sitting sixth in Cinch League 2, East 5 just one point ahead in fifth place. Your Bonnie Ridge Rose team this evening is, sorry, this afternoon is number one, Mark Weir. At the back, you've got number four, Kerr Young, and number six, Al Horn. There's also number seven, Kieran Mitchell, number eight, Captain Johnny Stewart, number 10, Lee Curry, number 14, George Hunter, number 15, Josh Grigger. Number 17, Connor Doan. Number 19, Scott Gray. And number 22, Callum Connolly. And we are underway at New Dundas Park. The visitors get us going here. 75 seconds gone here as Lee Curry puts this one into the mix. Callum Connolly! An early lead for Bonnie Rig Rose. And it is Callum Connolly with that header. It wasn't far out, but it was still a bullet header. I think you could call it that. What a cross from Lee Curry. Connolly three times on Tuesday. So unfortunate not to score late on. But here today, he gets his first goal of the 2022-23 campaign. A fantastic start for Bonnie Ridge Rose here at NDP. Hunter picks that up strong there to hold off Murdoch. He slipped in Connolly. It's running wide, still got a chance to get across goal. Oh, it's almost a second goal for the Rose inside three minutes. Fantastic play from Hunter. He is still on form after Tuesday night showing. Connolly just ran away from him. He done so well to hook that back into the box. Scott Gray heads just over the crossbar. What a start from the Rose here. Dangerous free kick for East Fife here. About 25 yards out from goal, he's lifted it well over the wall. Punched well clear by Mark Weir. Saw that all the way through. It's a whipped ball back in from the taker, Mercer. Weir, fantastic there. To get the ball away from the attacker and catch it again after. That is half time here at New Dundas Park after a blistering start where Callum Connolly rose highest in the box to meet Lee Curry's corner, giving Rose the lead. It has remained 1-0 until the break here. We are back underway at New Dundas Park. Bonnie Ridge Rose hoping to hold on to that 1-0 lead gained through Callum Connolly's early header. Cover it. Thinks this one across. Curry, that's a great ball forward, Bob Wilson's in the box, oh he just can't get away at it, that bounced so hard to judge, initially going for the header, and before both feet had even planted on the ground, the big centre half, he's only just came on for Kerr Young, tried to lash something at it, but no dice. It's Ferguson that puts this one in, Stewart gets something on it, handball shouts for both teams it seemed like there. Ferguson, good ball in, good header, goal, East Fife. 62 minutes gone, and it's Ryan Schiavone. He got two last weekend, he's got another here today at New Dundas Park to level proceedings. Great ball in, you have to say as well, from Alex Ferguson, and that is now Bonnie Red Rose 1, East Fife 1. It's a great turn inside and that's 2-0, pretty much from nothing, just two minutes after equalising, East Fife on level terms, far too easy for the man to skip inside there and just drill that shot past Mark Weir, who really was helpless about it. A fantastic strike and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the visitors lead here in Bonnie Rig. Carlton in by Ferguson. That's a great header and that is 3-1. 67 minutes gone and East Fife have truly turned this game on its head. Less than seven minutes ago, Bonnie Ridge Rose led 1-0 here and now we trail to the Fifers by two. Another simple goal from a corner. Great header to give credit to the scorer. Connolly's header falls all the way out to Grigger. He's not to back into the mixer. Hunter was offside there. And East Fife can break again, that's a good run forward from Shepard. 
He's ahead of Scott Gray. Horn comes across. Shepard, that's a great ball in. It's reached the back post. It's a fantastic touch. Mark Weir makes the stop. Liam Newton there with the chance. Good stop from the keeper. That could have been four goals in less than nine minutes. Don't give Chase that pass. Hits Hunter with that pass. McGacky's on his left if he sees it, but he's gone right. He's also got Ross Gray. Good effort saved by the legs of Fleming. And Hunter's dispossessed before he can get away. A rebound. Great ball forward there by Hunter. Ross Gray. Unfortunate not to get the rose back within one. Mark Weir's skewed free kick forward. East Pfeiffer in again, Shepard just onside. He's got men in support, Ferguson's on his right and that is 4-1. If it wasn't gone already, that is it done now in the 90th minute. Ferguson gets his second. Just a slack ball out from Weir. A bit of complacency creeping in with the game. Pretty much out of sight, out of reach. And East Fife lead four goals to one here at New Dundas Park. That is full time in New Dundas Park despite the Rose taking an early lead through Callum Connolly. Suddenly out of nowhere in the second half, East Fife raced into a 3-1 lead before killing it off late on. Final score, Bonnie Red Rose 1, East Fife 4. Robbie, a 4-1 defeat today. Obviously, we started the game really quickly and then it was hit by three goals in five minutes that really sort of turned the game on its head. In your mind, what's happened in that period that made the game switch like that? It's defended really poorly. <laughs> There's no other any words for it, um, to be honest. Um, we should deal with the ball at the edge of the box for the first one. Um, second one, we switch off the throw-in. Decent strike. Um, thought we should close it down. Third one, for corner in the box. And then fourth one, obviously, you're pushing bodies forward but um, really really frustrating I thought I even thought first half I didn't think we were quite quite at it um, to be fair we looked pretty leggy from the other night we put so much in that game the other night um, and you know, we were really really good the other night and I thought we were poor today and we didn't, we didn't deserve anything obviously from the game even the first half I thought um, I didn't think we were at our best that said um, we had a great opportunity to go 2-0 up with Scotty um, a great opportunity just, just a wee bit too high for him um, but over the piece, didn't deserve from the game, and you know, really poor goals to give away. Um, and we just need to, again. I keep saying the same stuff. That, like he's got to take it on the chin, realise you know what we've got to do, and stick together, work hard, and then you know, hopefully we can get on a wee, a wee run of games. Um, but nah, really frustrated after obviously the performance we got on Tuesday night to to turn out with a performance like that in the second half. And it's Scottish Cup action next. Is that sort of a, a welcome distraction? Do you think to sort of get back to hopefully winning ways? It's just another game to get a reaction. To be honest, um, you know that's uh, it's not going to be easy. Um, you know, Socky, you've got good players, and uh, I've just said to them there that you, you need to be at it next week because if you're not, then you'll get turned over because you know Socky will look at it at the, at the moment and. Uh, you know, very similar to what we used to be like when we used to play in the, in the competition as an East of Scotland, a lone league team where we thought we've got an opportunity against a lower league team. So they're feeling exactly the same. Um, but, you know, again, as I say, if we get a reaction from the players, hopefully we can get a result next week. And then after that, then go on a run of, of try, to, try to win games. Cheers, Robbie. All right, Thanks cheers, guys.